हाय एवरीवन आई एम मोहित वंजारे ऑल इन रैंक 47 गेट मैकेनिकल 2023 विद ऑलमोस्ट 4 मंथ्स रिमेनिंग फॉर योर गेट एग्जाम दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मोस्ट क्रूशियल टाइम ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन आई हैव बीन एग्जैक्टली वेरी वन डिस्पाइट कवरिंग 65% ऑफ सिलेबस इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट आई वाज अनएबल टू कन्वर्ट माय प्रिपरेशन इनटू परफॉर्मिंग एंड क्रंबल्ड अंडर प्रेशर बट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू शेयर एग्जैक्टली व्हाट आई विश समवन हैड टोल्ड मी एट दिस पॉइंट इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट Now, whether you have covered 40%, 60%, or even 90% of the syllabus, it is very important that you start giving FLT from this point on. And don't wait for completion of syllabus. Mocks will help you to reveal the gaps in your preparation for the subjects which you have covered as well as for the subjects which you haven't. Now, before giving FLT, there are two things that you should do. One, revise at least one subject in which you feel underconfident from your shortlist. and the second revise your numerical notes for one subject before every ability and both of these things included will take at max 30 minutes but repeating the same thing before every ability will help you to identify your weak areas for each subject one by one in every ability now when it comes to attempting the ability for any choice based exam the three cycle method is the one preferred by most of these students you attempt the whole test in three cycles in the first cycle you will attempt only those questions for which you will either take three to four steps or at max one minute that you feel you can solve them in a click in the whole gate exam you will find about 30 to 35 such questions assuming that you have covered 95% of the syllabus and it will take somewhere around 45 minutes to attempt all those questions as you are going through first cycle you will also be marking the questions which you feel that you can attempt but it will take time Now, once you are done with the first cycle, you will have three types of questions on your question panel. First, the ones that you have attempted, they will appear in green. The second, the ones that you have marked, which you can solve, but it will take time. And the third ones, which you haven't attempted and you feel that you can't solve. Now, when you are about to start the second cycle, you will be attempting only those questions which you feel you can solve, but it will take time. and assuming that you take about 3 to 5 minutes on average each question you will have somewhere around 25 to 30 such questions which you can solve of which you won't be able to solve everything but assuming a total of 25 questions you can solve by the end of the second cycle you will be done with 2 hours and approximately 45 to 50 questions with the remaining 45 minutes you will have your third cycle in the third cycle you will be attempting the questions which you felt you cannot solve but remember It is important to choose your questions very wisely. You will have somewhere around 15 to 20 questions in this cycle and not all of them will be solvable. So pick only those questions which you have an idea about. In the third cycle, also ensure that if there are few questions which you can solve by method of elimination, go for them, but not more than one or two. In method of elimination, out of four options you will be able to eliminate two option and you won't be sure about the other two option so you can guess for uh, the correct one but warning you don't do it for more than one or two question as you will be inviting negative marking for them now don't expect high marks initially in my second attempt i could barely cross the 50 mark point in my initial 5 to 10 tests and also remember that these mock tests are not for competing with others but to identify weak areas and to up Giving FLTs is the 50% of the work done. The remaining 50% is post-test analysis. So after you are done with your test, take a 15 to 30 minute break, eat, relax, and then pick up a dedicated FLT notebook and start analysis. On the first page of your analysis, write numbers from 1 to 65 for all the questions. Skip the questions that you have solved correctly. For the questions you solved incorrectly, mark a cross against them. for the skip question mark a blank box and against each of these questions write the subject the topic and the reason why you lost marks and also on the top of the analysis paper write a summary of the paper total marks scored the number of questions attempted correctly number of questions attempted incorrectly and the negative marking that you scored towards the end of the analysis paper create a table 
and write the number of questions from each subject which you could not solve or attempted incorrectly this will help you to identify the top 3 subjects where you lost your most marks now if you have covered more than 75% of your syllabus i would advise you to go through all those questions again the cross and the skipped questions but if you haven't covered more than 75% syllabus i would advise you jump on to the next stage the next stage is on the next page of your analysis for each question write why you lost mark the type of mistake you made and only the concept because of which you lost mark similar to your numerical notes for the next 6 days before your next faculty this is the job that you have to perform first cover the remaining syllabus solve their previous year questions and question marks and the second work on your improvement areas the areas which you identified through your summary table so if the mistake was a silly mistake you will ensure that every question that you solve from now on you will read it very very carefully if the mistake was a numerical mistake every question that you solve from now on you will solve them on the virtual calculator and not on your physical calculator if the mistake was a formula based mistake every day from now on you will revise your short notes for at least one hour and at the last if it was a conceptual mistake ensure that you read the long notes for that specific topic and solve the previous year questions and question banks only the questions which you could not solve earlier or you solved incorrectly because the ones that you could solve correctly they will again appear in your faculties so this will be your routine for the next 6 days before the next faculty now in the month of october and december you will attempt faculties once every week in the month of december you will attempt two faculties every week and in between the days you will work on your improvement areas cover the remaining syllabus in the month of january you will be attempting full length test series on your alternate days and the days in between you will revise and you will solve as many questions as you can for your week areas and repeat the analysis for each faculty the same way that you are doing for the first one when there is one week left for your final exam i would advise you to stop giving faculties let's take for example if the gate exam is on 7th of february on the 29th or 30th of january you will stop giving faculties for the next 4 days you will attempt previous year question papers properly similar to your faculty pick up gate paper 2025 2024 23 22 and so on one each day and solve those previous year question paper now it will help you in two ways first it will help you to boost your confidence since you have solved all the questions at least once earlier and second even though you have solved all the questions earlier uh, you will still make mistakes in the previous year question paper and it will help you to understand that no matter whether you have studied for a topic or not chances are that you might make a mistake and it will help you to keep a mind on those mistakes in the actual exam now when there are 3 days left for your exam stop giving any test stop attending any question paper take some rest and collect everything that you have done throughout the year read all your short notes read all your numerical notes and keep revising them again and again now there are a few tips to solve numericals and how to go about this whole time first thing make a routine of your faculties so whenever you are attempting faculties attempt them at a specific time every day and when you will get your actual sort of the gate exam start giving faculties in that time period only it will help you to align your mindset in that specific time period second if the question is very long try to read it till the end it will help you to avoid the negative marking by missing the question now if the question is very very long let's say it takes about 45 seconds to 1 minute to read the question read and understand it very carefully read the last line of that question in majority of cases it helps you to identify what the question is actually asking and it might save you some time in the actual exam the third one in the actual paper don't be in any rush you will be inviting negative marking otherwise i am also taking free mentorship sessions for week if you would like to register for it the link is in the description if you are feeling pressure right now embrace it because it means higher the pressure higher is the importance of it for you so stay consistent revise daily solve as many questions as you can and don't skip any faculty with this i would like to say all the very best and happy diwali peace out